Here we are once again, and I know this doesn't look like an ocean base, and yes, I'm eating steak now and not bread, I've eaten all my bread, and uh, this goes down, and we're going to come back to this though, because we're going to go this way. I do need to cut down some area here, because I want to be able to see out into the ocean. I've got the, uh, pretty much this entire room built, I got some uh, stuff around the outside I need to clear for it too, so we can get a nice solid view out which I really like how it looks um, the uh, stone brick which is why that holes over there for one plus I wanted a land connection uh, also archway don't know what you guys think of that I thought it was a lot better I think it needed some flavor and that's what gave it to it but anyhow the stone brick is supposed to serve it's supposed to seem like supports and then there's the glass and then the sandstone and you can either look at this that I put on the floor one of two ways three ways actually you can look at it as a face like that you can look at it as E equals or you can look at it as two things that can conjoin but I wanted to design on the floor and now I have one got the cat down here safely made a bed and I Went through some diamonds, definitely cooked through coal. Got a lot more dirt and stuff now. I uh, harvested a bunch of sand, cooked it all into glass, and, well, I think that's pretty obvious. And by the time I'd gotten done with that, I had started running out of uh, food. So, I uh, started work on a wheat farm, which, this is because I had some lighting issues, and I'm... Um, I'm going to need to get some obsidian, make a nether portal, which I was thinking about branching that this way. Branch out this way and make a, uh, basically a storage room that also has a nether portal in the middle of it. But, uh, I wanted to show you guys something. Okay, I got food, I got weapon, I got pick. We're going to go down here. I came down here exploring a bit, it's awfully dark, and I don't know if it was actually this direction to be honest, but uh, I was came down through and I reached this. I didn't place that wood there. I saw that wood and automatically assumed, hey, abandoned mine shaft. So we're in an underwater base, dead end, that's next to a desert that has an abandoned mine shaft in the area near it. So I will be able to make a wool farm because basically I'm gonna hopefully find two or three spider spawners. Which I know there's one like directly underneath my water base because I heard the spiders making noises. Ooh, I wanna go down there. And there we go. Whoa coal startled me. Okay, cobweb. But anyhow, I want to make an experience farm. And I'm going to need to make... I thought those were supposed to fill in. But I'm going to need to make uh, an experience farm, which I said, but I need an enchanting table. Um, but I brought my diamonds, so that shouldn't be too bad to go about. And that's a spider. Is that a regular spider or a baby spider? That's a regular spider. Now I'm trying to find out where the part that's under my house is. Because, like I said, I heard spiders. And I'm going to collect all this rail. I wonder how much rail you can get if you uh, harvest an entire abandoned mine. This way it seems to go off on its own. Now there's some lava. Not quite as much as I was after. Hmm. 
Oh, hey, a chest. And bread. I suppose I'll take that. Coal. Definitely take that. And I'll take the chest. I'm gonna avoid harvesting all of the, uh, the coal and all that, and I'll come down here and get this another time after I've already got this all lit up and explored, but did all that building and running and whatnot, and I figured it was a little bit time, a little bit time, a little time, ugh, it's time for some caving. I see, I see cobwebs. I hate to do this to you, Mr. Lava, but you are in my way. So if you would kindly go away. Sand. As much as I need it, I will use it. And it also gives me a little bit of light there. See, I'm seeing all these cobwebs, but it's not until I find a gigantic mass of them that I know I've found a spider spawner. Hmm. I am going to need lava. Because I need obsidian. Oh, another chest. Gold. I will take gold. Melon seeds, for sure. As much as I hate to live off of melons. Which I'm going to try to do. Not live off... Or, try to avoid living off of melons, that is. Which, I already have something planned. And you will see that... Uh, well, hopefully by the end of this episode. Which... Maybe, maybe not. Knowing me, I'm going to be down here for a very long time. Okay, I will harvest this. Just one of those things I do not want to forget. It's going to be very hard to find at times. Oh, water. Water. Why do you have to be so annoying, water? Yeah, I said about not harvesting it, but I'm currently trying to run in water, so I figured, why not? Ooh, more gold. Ah! Give gold. Okay, I hear a skeleton in water. I hear a spider. And... Because I'm going through my surround sound, I'm not entirely sure where they're located other than... Uh... Yeah, I don't really know. Only makes this more interesting, right? Been that way, been that way, have not been this way. One lone piece of gravel. Okay, um, actually I might have to harvest the coal just so I can make more torches to go through here. What the? What is going... Lighting glitches. Ooh, gold. Oh. What is with the lighting glitches? Ooh, mushrooms. Mushrooms. I will live off of mushroom shoop. Shoop? Mushroom shoop. Mushroom soup. Hey. blow up my torches. How dare he? Um, I think I'm just gonna backtrack. Not because of the skeleton, but because I'm not near my uh, abandoned mine shaft anymore. And I'm not doing a very good job of backtracking. Ooh, yes. I will take that. Thank you and please. Not please and thank you. Thank you and please. Did I hear lava? Sounds like it's this way. There's gold. More gold. So, I don't know if you guys have heard of uh, Ultra Hardcore. But it's a series done by the people of the Minecraft server, such as Good Boulder Fist, B00, Ethos Lab, Kurt J. Mack, Pause and Pause, Vintage Beef, if you know any of those names. 
Um, but I, I'm not going to be in it, obviously. But uh, the mod itself that they're using, I've seriously considered making my own like single player Let's Play using it. And I was just wondering what you guys would think of that. In case you don't know, um, hey, it increases the difficulty of the game significantly because you don't regenerate health naturally anymore. The only way to get it back is from instant health potions or golden apples. Uh, like, regeneration potions don't even exist. They were completely removed for the, uh, the mod. They either don't exist or they don't work. I don't remember which one it is, but... Uh, so, that makes things more interesting. And I know I missed some gold back there. I'm planning on going back. Of course, though, I plan on doing a lot of things, huh? Is that more gold? Wow, there's a lot of gold here. Coal. More gold! Jeez. This is good. Ah! Don't do this to me, water. Okay. Oh, huh. Oh, and that lights that up. I'm not doing a very good job of going back and getting that other gold, but, uh. This appears to have dead ended, so. Well. Well, there's more this way. Uh, I have a very bad feeling I'm going to be in here longer than I had originally intended. Where's that light from? Must be from one of those, uh, torches that just exist in mine shafts. This kind of feels like a waste of a, a diamond pick, using it to pick up rail, but... Yeah. It's the fastest way I can really think of. And I'm sorry for that. I are sorry for that darkness. <laughs> I'm sorry for uh, that dark video there, but uh, yeah, I was picking up the rail. Oh, and there is the lava. I don't have a bucket. I don't even have iron. I don't have water. I don't have anything. Hmm. And the thing is, is this is one of those places I won't be able to just dig out of to escape because it's kind of underwater. At least I think this is underwater, this part. Oh, I'm going to need to get more coal. Yeah, I know I should have used up the other wood I had in my inventory, but it's too late for that. No take backs. Coal. Oh. Hey there, zombie. did not mean to mine that, or pick up that uh, gravel using my pick. Here I am, going down. Mine shaft isn't even over here. Oh. Well, this dead ended, so... Deal with it. Skeleton. Don't bug out into the wall. Skeleton. Oh. No, I thought I saw... I know I saw some gold... There we go. I was going to say, I thought I saw some gold up here, because I know I just saw some down there. There's a few cobwebs, but nothing too amazing. Hey! Oh, that bastard. No! No! Hey, I wanted obsidian. Oh. 
That's kind of handy, actually. The question is, is this thing underground? Does it link up anywhere else? Am I doomed for all eternity? I guess we'll find out, won't we? First things first, I need obsidian. This water should keep all the monsters away from me, so I'll be back with you guys once I have 14 obsidian. Alright guys, I've collected the obsidian. I know you only really need 10 to make a nether portal, but uh, I like real, regular size nether portals. So, I collect 14. Hey, I heard that. Kinda dark over here. Oh, good. You do me the favor of coming down here yourself. I really, really would like to find one of these baby spider spawners that I know that are inevitably down here. Here's a spider. Clearly to my left. The only downside to uh, baby spider spawners is that there isn't really a chest, but then there's plenty of them littered throughout these uh, abandoned mine shafts. Don't. No. I don't remember a diamond sword three hitting things. It used to take the same number of hits as iron, so something's a little strange here. And that bastard just blew out my walkway. Well, I really wanted to end this by finding a uh, baby spider spawner, but so far it's not really working, is it? Hey, you. There we go. Sometimes the uh, abandoned mineshaft torches don't like to activate. Oh, redstone. You know, I had realized that I didn't bring any saplings with me, so... I'm gonna have to find trees, but that shouldn't be too hard. I believe there's some near where I've been farming my sand, because I didn't want to obviously farm sand directly next to where I was building my place. I want it to be at least kind of hidden and not extremely obvious. So, I uh, have to boat over to where I have been gathering my sand at, which I've went through, I've went like through two, maybe three diamond shovels so far on this project. What the hell's going on here? I will take them. Or there, I will take that. This ravine's going to slowly get on my nerves. Whoa, that could have been bad. was playing uh, ultra hardcore I would be pretty much slowly set for life because uh, yeah gold very very important oh that's not good doors still have these doors on me. Go away, doors. And flint and gunpowder. I actually need bones. Because my food supply is not going to last forever. Yeah, I see you down there. Now, what exactly is going on here? I see that there is... 
more of this over here. I've only found two chests so far. Neither one of them really had anything too impressive in them. Which is actually kind of depressing. Funny how that works out, huh? And I'm out of torches again. Do-do. Okay. Oh, chest. Redstone, redstone, diamond, coal. Was that dangerous? Yes. Did I do it anyway? Yes. Yeah, might as well pick up this chest. I don't really want the lapis. Lapi? The, the blue shit. We're gonna call it blue shit. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually find a decorative use for blah, 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 blah. blue wool. Considering that if I can find one of these spider spawners, I will have wool for days. Of course, so I didn't build myself any kind of marker on how to get out of here, so I'm probably going to be in this mine shaft for days. And apparently, I started sprinting somehow when I didn't mean to. There's cobwebs and rail. A huge lake of lava. Kind of want to, like, dig down from somewhere near my place and see if I can't run directly into the mine shaft or at least the ravine because I'd really like to build something down here and all this lava will let me go with an idea that I was having pretty crazy idea probably gonna be funny looking too but I don't know in the darkness. It's very dark. I hear spiders again. Uh, I'm gonna grab this coal. I'm being very quiet. But I'm just acquiring coal. So, about being very quiet, let's see if I can't think of something to talk about. Last time I talked about the fact that it was snowing in April, which I guess isn't too amazing, and but it it's not usually normal. It doesn't happen very often. Normally it's raining, not snowing, which I woke up this morning to find snow on the ground. But, uh, it's snow. It's snowy and it's cold and I don't like it. Yes, I realize I probably live in a very bad country. Country? Bad part of the country if I do not like snow. But at least I don't live in Canada. Not that I have anything against Canada other than it's snow. Stupid fucking snow. Where am I at? I've got two stacks of rail. This is good. Very, very good. Okay, I've been that way. I've been that way. This ravine can't end up too far from the surface. I'm sure of it. I'm gonna need more torches. Very soon, like. What are you doing, random piece of dirt? I hear you, spiders. I don't know where you are, but I hear you, and I will find you. And then I will probably get poisoned and die. No, not quite. If you've seen my uh, the super hostile map playthrough that I've been doing, you'll know very well that pretty much the only thing that can really kill me offhand in this game is large, large sets of TNT. And even that isn't a guaranteed chance. 
creepers can kill me, but it's not very likely anymore. I've been kind of paying more attention. They do, however, still explode, which is extremely annoying. You go there, Torch. What am I going to do when this pick breaks? This will be stuck, won't I? Oh, I didn't even see that I had that third set of rail in there that's almost uh, complete as well. And I didn't take down the coordinates where my house were. Where my house were. Where my house is. The only thing I know is that uh, the spawn should be... You know, if I get a compass, I should be able to find my way, find my way there easily. In theory. I hear you spiders. But I'm not even quite sure how I got down to where I'm at. So I can't come up and find you. I would appreciate it though if you shut up. We're very loud and I'm sick of it. Please? Okay, yeah, I came through here. Not through here, but through this little spot. Cause I remember this annoying set of water. Okay. Water is gone. Not gone, but gone. A rail. That appears to be into this. Well, looks like there's about a third of this pickaxe left, which should last me longer than an iron one. So I should still be good for a decent amount of time. There's water over here. I see... I see updating light block. Light block? Blocks of light? I see darkness and confused zombie. Water is getting very annoying. Ooh. Random hallway. There's definitely a spider spawner right somewhere over there. Or somewhere. Let's put it this way. I know it is here. Somewhere. Shit. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Why am I not poisoned yet? That's odd. What is going on here? Something is very wrong. Wait, do I have my shears? Fuck. No shears. Hey, I heard that. Give me your bones. Now, I think I still heard spiders. They seem to clearly be to my left. Uh, it might just be one spider, though. I finish wasting my diamond sword on a uh, on all of this. Tear these out. Okay, I hear you, and I. Oops. Whoa. Please be from a different spawner. see any cobwebs and he seems to have just been here by himself I hear more spiders hmm tell you what this has been going on for a good while we have conquered baby spider spawner there's clearly another one nearby hopefully it's close enough to the other one but uh, we will stop here 
I will record the next episode, and I'll probably upload these on the same day. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens, but uh, I'm Zinder, and I will see you in the next episode.